We're right now in front of the Cataclan boat jetty. We're about to get on Banca boats, head out to the island, jump off the boat, and on to Dave Straw Hat Inn. Guess what? The last form of transportation. I'm going on it right now. Janet, do you do this for all your guests? No, it just happened for the MBA. <laughs> we appreciate yeah. that. Thank you very much. Well, we get on here, you can see the size of the boat. We got the whole MDA crew down, Janet taking us out. We're finally gonna get there. Well, we lied to you. We said this was the last stop as far as transportation goes before we get to Dave's Straw Hat Inn. But it turns out we got one more tricycle ride right over there. Where are you going, sir? Singapore. Singapore. All right, Singapore. Okay, we can fly there. You got it. Oops. Finally, finally, finally got here. So we're really here, huh? Yep, Janet said so. Almost five minutes walk. Oh, five minutes walk. This doesn't look like a five minute walk to me. Welcome to Dave Stroll Hot Eat. Well, we're home, sweet home. Our mission is to find rum because they make a great banana kind of milkshake and when we put the rum in it, it's going to get a whole lot better. We're dispatching Cindy to follow Janet. Let's see what it's inside find my kitchen. Rum. Corn milk, bread, oh, that rum will do. That's rum. Let's turn this one. This balloon. See, you can't do this at a high class hotel. Can you make some of the, the bananas? Just walk into the kitchen and uh, raid the finger cabinet. Right on. She is making the MDA shake for here at uh, Dave's Straw Hat Inn. It's even the new standard that they have for anybody coming here. We're having breakfast at Dave's. Everybody likes to have their picture taken first thing in the morning. Everyone just make yourself comfortable. When we get to Nassau, you'll probably all move to the back. So for that journey, you can just relax. Well organized, our bags were out and ready to go and putting things together and they're taking them down to the boat now. So what can be easier than that? This is Calypso One. It's the first time we've used her. Okay, we took her on a sea trial the other day and she worked great, but this is officially her first trip. Okay, she went in about 10 months ago as an old boat. We spent a lot of money on her doing her up and this is it. This is great. This is really what it's all about. We've come 1,750 miles or so. Had a great day for the first day. The hotel's wonderful, the food's good. Calypso diving is going to turn out to be extraordinary. Anticipation level in the ride out here, which is about a half an hour. It's just been very high. Everybody's ready to go, and we'll let you know when we come out of the water just how good it is. But we're looking at a tremendous amount of great diving right here. At first, there was so much to see. Nudibranch City. Beautiful nudibranchs, big ones, they must be mating. Uh, we saw a lot of uh, anemones that are, are totally different than what we're used to seeing in Guam. Oh, interesting dive. Very, very different topography from Guam. Uh, visibility's down a little bit, but an awful lot of uh, anemones, a lot of crinoids, very pretty structures along the top. Really, really good dive. Very good. Guam was very good. Oh, just another day in paradise. In the Philippines. Lots of fish. Water's a little cooler than we used to, but everybody had a great day. It was just fabulous. I had a great time. <laughs> so there's two reasons I have a dive knife. One is if I'm teaching and I see a shark, it goes straight in the student's side and I swim away. Two is for cutting melon. It was 
hard to imagine such an easy dive like that had so, many, so much wildlife going on out there. It was probably one of the most enjoyable dives I've had in a long time because you go down there and you've got this huge schooling fish on top of this coral bami, which is just a big coral head. And then you start finding a frog fish about this big. And then we went around in the corner and there's this lionfish, which we have a lot of in Guam. But right beside it is a ghost pipefish who just was very willing to pose for the camera for like an hour and a half. So I got everybody, you know, looking at the ghost pipefish. And then you go over somewhere else, a little ribbon moray. But there's so much plankton and so much sediment, you've got this great, incredible variety of marine life right there. Lots of the fishes you don't see in Guam. I was so happy. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Well worth it. One of the nicest things about Boracay is our diversity in reefs. You can go from easy reefs at 12 to 18 meters, or you've got wall dives, which are spectacular, starting at five and dropping away to 80 meters. So you really have a lot of choice on the kind of reefs you want to see. Light soft corals, hard corals we have, but mainly the attraction is the blanket of soft corals and opportunity for macro photography. We have everything on board, soft drinks, all the food. You're going to have to trust Jade and I because we prepared the food this morning. I'm sure when we get past there it's going to calm down a little bit so it should be quite a bit flatter. Greg and Judy have volunteered to serious watermelon rescue. Save the watermelons at all costs. This is the second trip back to Punai. The first one was for diving. We dove earlier, but we really came for the barbecue up here. Woo! Awesome dive. From diving to mountain climbing. Right, and cave whatever. <laughs> Looking for bats. Place. Talk about getting away from it all. <laughs> good food, good company. Yeah, excellent company. Are you really going to go? Yeah. I've just had a nice lunch. And the best way to work off a lunch is just do a nice little swan dive off the cliff here. So I'm going to go first and then Javid's going to join me. One minute I'm like at 90 feet on a sunken ship and the next few minutes later here I am shopping for these beautiful beads. Black pearl? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Cindy, buy it all, buy it all. <laughs> this is Mike getting entertained. How's it feel? Good, good, good. <laughs> You know, you could almost make a career out of cruising the beach in Boracay. Shopaholics definitely will feel right at home here. Just ask the MDA ladies. And when it's time to pig out, the toughest part is probably deciding where you're going to eat. You'll find cuisine from just about every nationality here. Hey Pete, you know, don't bother me, I'm eating, will you? By the way, no nighttime visit to the beach there would be complete without checking out the legendary sandcastles. Even though the island is only five miles long and a mile wide, the MDA Guamaniacs weren't able to check out everything there is to see and do on Boracay, which means we have to go back there again for another delightful stay at Dave's Straw Hat Inn. They messed up the room, they bother everybody and they left us with no tip at all. <laughs> and some fabulous underwater adventures with Calypso diving. You're welcome to join us. <laughs>